Hey guys, so I know it's been about a month and I'm sorry since my last video, but I did wanna make this video today just to give you a life update, share with you some of my experiences that I've been having since I moved to Phoenix, and then I want to do a Q&A where I'm answering some questions that I got from viewers that are also following me on my social media accounts because I get a little overwhelmed sometimes when I don't respond right away, so I thought it was a great idea to just answer them right now, right here in this video, and yeah, let's do it. So life update, first things first, I'm engaged! <laughs> Just joking, clearly I'm not. But I do have some actual life updates. So I have officially been in Phoenix for two months as of October 10th. Will be my official second month here and when I first got here, I was literally like in crush it mode, I'm gonna work hard, I'm gonna grind, I'm gonna kill it. I made a 30 day plan for things that I was gonna do every single day for lead generation to make sure that I ensure my success and I was ready. And then I'd say probably about two weeks in, something happened mentally where I almost got borderline like depressed. I don't know if it was actual depression but I felt depressed um, where I was just like, did I make the right decision? Should I have moved here? In Tucson, my business flowed so easily. I'm from Tucson, um, so it's easy when you're a native, you have a huge sphere. But also, I built my business around providing like incredible customer service, so I would get a bunch of referrals. Out here, I probably know a solid six, maybe seven people, um, and I hadn't done many deals here in the past when I still lived in Tucson, so I felt like I was starting from scratch. The craziest thing, oh, I switched my shirt, by the way. The other one was weird. The craziest thing about me freaking out about like, oh my gosh, I'm in a blank slate, oh my gosh, I'm starting from scratch, is that's why I moved to Phoenix to begin with. I came here because I wanted the challenge. I wanted something new. I wanted to have this internal development to prove to myself that I can come to a new market and kill it. But there is something about being here, recognizing that my phone is not ringing with referrals, recognizing that I don't know as many people as I did back in Tucson, recognizing that there are so many areas that I'm still learning that mentally threw me off. But two people, three actually, three people in my life drastically helped me out of it. One, my team leader, Danny Roth, he's like, what are you talking about? Like, I know who you are, I know how you work, you're gonna kill it anywhere. Um, my really, really great friends, Laurel and Sarah, they truly like helped me out of this like weird mental thing that I was in. Um, and I wanna thank them for that because it's so important who you surround yourself with. Both of them helped me realize like, Lily, you've been here a little shy of a month. And they helped me realize like, this is who you are. You go to new places, you work hard, you kill it. So thank you so much to both of them for helping me remember who I was when I started to slightly forget. And yeah, things have been amazing since then. I have four deals in escrow now that I've gotten since being in this market. One new listing, agreement signed, and I have about probably 10 to 12 solid leads that I now have in my database that are gonna be buying, I'd say in six months or less. So it's cool because I wanted to share this with you. I always want to keep it real on this channel. I struggle too sometimes, you guys. Like, I came here on a mission, and I still am on a mission, but it was kind of humbling to remember that, you know what? You might have a mental shift sometimes too, and you just gotta remember to turn it back on. You just gotta remember who you are. You just gotta remember why you're doing this, and then kill it. So yeah, I'm excited. I actually love it here. It's so amazing. There's so much to do. I'm a foodie, and there's even more food than, than I used to find back in Tucson. It's been really, really great. Next life update is Ella, my sweet little dog, is now thriving. So if you watched my officially moved to Phoenix video, Ella had a little bit of a rough patch too. I think she missed like my family. She definitely missed her brother who's back in Tucson and now she walks around this apartment like she owns it. She hasn't made any dog friends yet because she keeps barking at them. Ella, she's right there. Ella, hi! Yeah, she's doing a lot better. And the last life update is on October 6th, I'll be 31. I don't know if you heard that, but I'm gonna be 31 years old and it's so weird. Oh, I don't, I don't really know how to feel. Part of me is like super excited because I actually don't mind being 30. Like I like the vibe of it, but 31 is like, that's really close to 40. And I don't know, I'm not really sure how to feel about that. Okay, so we are gonna now start with the Q&A and I'm probably gonna look down a lot because I wanna make sure that I don't mess up any of the questions or any of the names for anyone who wrote me the question. Thank you for all of your questions. As I said, I literally get anxiety when I can't respond right away, so I'm trying to figure out ways to do it quicker, and I figure that there's nothing better than including it into the vlog. So, let's get started. The first question is from Apple Christie. Let's see, I wrote her question over here. Oh no, it's still in my 
messages. Okay, so Apple's question is, she had two questions. The first one is, how do you set yourself up for success? How did you set yourself up for success? I obviously ruined that, so I just started it over. How did you set yourself up for success when you were a new agent? So great question, thank you so much, Apple the Realtor, for writing me this question. Um, so the way that I set myself up for success are three things that I think are key. One, I learned and absorbed as much information as I possibly could. Two, I never said no, meaning that if a buyer wanted to see a $90,000 house an hour away from me, I showed them because I didn't focus as much on the commission, I focused more on the experience and what I would learn to become the best agent possible. And the third thing is I made sure to outline my goals and write down my goals so that if anything ever got weird, I can remember what my ultimate vision is and why I'm doing this. Hope that helps even just a little. Um, so Apple actually, like I said, wrote me two questions. Her second question is, I've narrowed it down to two brokers. Broker number one would like to hire me on their team starting out as a cold calling agent, $10 an hour or 10 hours a day for at least six months. Broker number two would like to hire me as a rental agent to start and I'd have the option of working independently or on a team, but both brokers offer training and support. In your professional opinion, which offer is more advantageous to a new agent? So my very honest and I'm sorry opinion, that is not a question that I can answer for you. Um, I love and appreciate all of your questions, but I've noticed I've gotten some questions where are more like personal, where people are asking me personally which route they should go. Um, that completely just depends on you. For me personally, if I had the option of those two brokers, I would go with the one that's wanting me as a cold caller because building the foundation to becoming a cold caller is so, so powerful for the foundation that you're building with your business um, because cold calling is a huge key for lead generation. So that's that's what I would go with, but honestly, Apple, I'm so sorry. It's really gonna depend on what works best for you, what your goals are, and what route you wanna take towards success in your real estate career. But hopefully that was helpful, even a little, little bit too. Okay, the next question is from I am Callista. I am Callista. She asked me, mm, can you give me insight on what winter looks like as a realtor? And if now is a good time to start financially, I live in Colorado, so the housing market is crazy here. Um, so I live in Arizona. In Arizona, um, you can sell houses year round. Our weather doesn't ever get too cold. We do get super hot in the summer, but people are still buying and selling houses in the summer. So honestly, I would say don't let the weather or any time frame that anybody gives you stop you from getting started. Um, worst case scenario, you'll learn a lot and just plug in because if you keep waiting till the perfect weather, the perfect opportunity, the perfect day of the week, you'll just keep pushing it out. So I would recommend that you just start. Just start it now. Um, there's gonna still be people who sell houses during the winter in Colorado. You just gotta make sure that you're one of those people. So, hope that helps. And the last question is from last and pets and they wrote hi I have a quick question I'm a new agent and I was wondering how you feel about teams is it something that you would recommend for a new agent are you on a team or are you working as a solo agent so I've answered this question a few times and I love this question because I am on a team I love the team that I'm on I'm on the Danny Roth team um, and here's my suggestion to any new agents deciding which route to go the reason why I personally like teams is because I like the momentum the synergy of it you have a lot of support internally and I love that um, but I think being on a team can also be beneficial for new agents because you have somebody that's around you that can really help and guide you throughout the process. The biggest thing about teams is you wanna make sure that you're on a team where it financially makes sense to you, meaning that your split makes sense. So you wanna make sure that you find out what the split is on that team. And you wanna make sure that the team that you're considering um, actually provides value towards your business. If it does, I personally think that teams are incredible. A lot of people think that you won't make as much money on teams, that's not true. You just gotta make sure, like I said, that the splits make sense and the value that they're providing also makes sense. So I personally love teams. I say any new agents considering it, just get all the information first, lay it down, and then um, outweigh both options and see which one works best. I feel like I probably rambled a lot in this video and I'm very curious to see what it's gonna be like when I put it all together, but I'm just in such good spirits. Like, it's my birthday weekend, all my besties are gonna be here and I just can't wait to see everyone. I'm gonna go pick up my best friend, Melanie. Um, she's coming in from Sacramento, so that's fun, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for all your patience. As I said, I know that it took me a while to bring out another video, but I appreciate all of you. I love all of you. Your encouraging words, your support is so amazing and thank you for that. And go kill it, spread kindness, and sell so many houses along the way. Bye.